What's up everybody and welcome back to some Fallout 4. Today we're back in Vault 118 and I want to show you something I came across while trying to complete the Brain Dead mission. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out too. We'll run through and see who committed that murder. Okay, back into this video. So while I was searching for clues into who committed the murder in Vault 118, I came across this weird room all the way in the back on the left side. Uh, it's the path I'm traveling right now as you're watching. Now back there, there's a robo brain wearing a almost like a sun hat, just kind of walking around. Turns out she seems like she used to be an actress of some sort. And the dialogue between our sole survivor and this robot gets to be a little interesting. So I'm going to let this play out and you guys can see what happens. Well now, if it isn't the brave sure detective, the I one. haven't seen someone with a body Our like that all in over the far, island. far too long. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say... You're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mmm, sounds good, detective. That was great, Detective, but we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, Tiger. Alright, so I didn't think it was possible to romance a robot, let alone do I think it's necessary to romance a robot, but apparently I was able to get on her good side and she showed me a good time because we ended up back in her room and ended up getting that lover's embrace perk for a little while. So, just wanted to share this weird little encounter I had with this robo-brain by the name of Gil DeBrasco. To be honest, I'm a little creeped out that this whole thing occurred, and I don't know even what to make of it. So, did you guys come across Gilda while you were searching Vault 118? Did you have the same outcome? Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> and yeah, I'm still a little disturbed by this whole thing. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more great Fallout 4 content. I'll keep posting the interesting videos I find out as I play through the Far Harbor DLC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.